everybody yeah. if you were rich if you were poor you're you know middle income you all had to go through security you all had to sit in those small uncomfortable chairs just like everyone yeah, else yeah we all suffer together yes. that's when it, the, the, good, the good old days right <laughs> well not anymore evidently nope. because now if you're rich you don't have to do that <laughs> hey tommy hey good morning mike good morning jan of course this is happening at lax in los angeles a new private suite situation and service that allows people to skip all of that. It's got a dedicated luxury TSA line. Yes, that's a thing, a luxury TSA line. And then suites in which you can wait for your flight. Boom. There's even BMW sedans that ensure you don't do more than 70 steps from the curb oh to the gosh. plane. It drives you right to the side of your plane. Yeah, and it's $7,000 a year plus $4,000 every time you use it, which also includes hair and makeup and massages complimentary. <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically, the first time you use it, it's like $12,000, $13,000. Holy cow. I wonder okay. how much that compares mm -hmm. to just having a private jet I was going to say, why would you, yeah, why yeah. wouldn't you just get a charter flight at that point? Because then you still have to sit with the poor people. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't imagine doing that and then getting in like zoning loading group D, right? Like I don't think those two go together ever. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. <laughs> Mike's like, you still have to sit with it. Well, I mean, yeah. you're you know, in the front of the plane anyway. The regular folk. Yeah, the regular yeah, folk. Instead okay. of your private jet chilling out. <laughs> Pretty wild, man. Thanks, Tommy. All right, still ahead. We do another food face-off. Granola bars crunching the numbers between.